Well, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Brat. What's up, YouTube? I'm Rugly. Welcome back to my channel. You know, creativity breeds more creativity. Like, constantly. I love it. Like, how creativity feeds off of itself. You know, you're working on one thing over here, and that gives you an idea for another thing that you're doing over here, and sometimes they just kind of meet in the middle. And 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 what I'm what I'm getting at here is that you're going to notice a trend, several trends actually, with these recipes. So these are recipes, uh, the ones that I've been sharing with you for the last couple of days uh, that I've been working on for the last couple of months. And what you're going to find is that there's a lot of similarities between them because while I was working on one recipe, I tried a flavor in it that gave me an idea for a different recipe or that pushed that recipe into a completely different direction. So sometimes like where you start from and where you end up are completely different. It might not even be the same flavor profile by the time that you're done. But anyways, um, I think eh, it's been a few videos, maybe just one. I don't remember. I posted a donut and it was caramel apple uh, maple bar. That recipe is really, really good. And I like that recipe and it's a donut. And this recipe is a donut. And the reason that this recipe is a donut is because while I was trying flavors for that recipe, I, I discovered something else. And I guess the thing that I discovered is that Kim Novatic donut, to me, tastes like a blueberry donut. I think there's a very prominent blueberry donut in there. Donut note in there. It's a really good donut. It's very yeasty, it's very fluffy, it has really good texture, but I think that there's a little bit of a blueberry note in there. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if that's something that only I have experienced, but uh, I have tried it several different ways and each time I get a blueberry donut, a blueberry note from it, including single flavor testing it. Single flavor testing it, I definitely get a blueberry note in there. And so, um, I was like, well, I can't really make a caramel apple donut out of this if it's got blueberry in it, but I could probably use it to make a really good blueberry jam donut. And I did. And Kim Novatic Donut is, is where that starts. And we use it in here at 2%. Uh, so you'll notice with this recipe, another crossover, because this is something that I just tend to always do to donuts. I hit them with 3% of F.A. Zapola. I think that this is the best fried donut-y dough flavor. It's sweet, it's cakey, it's fluffy, it has a really good fried note, and then I use 1% of F.A. Joy in there because that's the grease. That is the convincing donut coat your mouth texture. We really don't have to do too much more to this. We have a good donut base and we're gonna add 3% of TFA Blueberry Extra to it. Uh, TFA Blueberry Extra, I think is the best blueberry flavor. And then we're gonna add a little texture in 1% of Wonder Flavors Blueberry Jam and then a little bit more texture and some more depth to that blueberry flavor, half a percent of Flavora boysenberry. And what you end up with is a fried donut and a blueberry jam. Very straightforward. Nothing in there that's really going to confuse the palate. I think this is a really good juice for somebody who maybe is just trying to kick cigarettes. There's not a whole lot of nuance. It just does two things very well. Kim Novatic Donut, excellent blueberry donut flavor. Back it up with some Zapola. Add a little bit more, uh, add a bit, a little bit more blueberry jam to it. You have a nice, nice donut. Real simple profile, short and sweet. Like I said, I think it'd be good for somebody who's just trying to kick cigarettes because usually those overlap, those real simple formulas work pretty well for them because it's not too complicated. It's very straightforward. If they know they like donuts, if they know they like blueberry, if they know they like blueberry donuts, it's really easy to reach for that. And it's a very authentic taste. So I know there's several of you out there that, uh, that mix juice for people because they can't go down the street to get the things that they need to stay off cigarettes. Tragic. But that's okay, because if I can do it, you can do it too. You can get flavors, you can make delicious blueberry donut e-liquid, and you never have to worry about not being able to go down the street to get the things that you need to stay off of cigarettes. You can do it right 
in the comfort of your own home. Listen, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn notifications on so that I get to annoy you every time I upload a video. Like, comment, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.